Well, we've just concluded the first leg of the Longines FEI World Cup Jumping Series here in Oslo. Steve, you had the uh, prime seat up in the uh, commentator's box. How was it for you? Pole position, yeah. Uh, it, to be honest, Mike, I think the first half was a bit ordinary. But the second half was never going to be ordinary and the jump off was always going to be as good as it was. You know, it turned out to be a very good class indeed. You wouldn't see a much better jump off all throughout the whole legs right through to the final. Because, you know, when the Olympic champion goes on Nino de Buissonne, flat out like that, he wasn't going for third place, he was wanting to win it. And I thought he'd probably done just about enough. And then Jouve Reiling, who can do no wrong whatsoever, you know, just went and blitzed him, took a stride out, that won it, going to the last fence, on a long stride in horse, knew the advantage he had with that great big long stride, knew he could do it, and committed himself and did it brilliantly. And then Marco Kucha. You know, so close to winning it as well on a relatively young horse. That was a great performance. That was a very, very good World Cup jump off. And it, you know, there was nine in the jump off, like almost a perfect number. And it just kept on getting faster and faster, didn't it? Yeah, you know, it built up. I, to be honest, I thought, well, has Steve Gerd at Curl killed the class? But he was fourth to go. And when you've got five more riders of that caliber coming behind you, then he was always vulnerable. But you wouldn't have thought that vulnerable at that speed but that's how it turned out. It was a great, great jump off. And what a month Jure's having. <laughs> well, as you know, when we interviewed him yesterday, he said to me he keeps pinching himself to make sure he's awake, you know, that he hasn't dreamt it all, because he just keeps going and going, doesn't it? Championship after championship, you know, team championship, world champions, Puricea, FBI, Nations Cup champions, the first World Cup, it just gets better and better. Not many have got the legs to beat Nino de Buissonne when it all comes off, and it's come off today. Ooh, what a turn there, well done. Now he's got to keep travelling. This is a man riding with all the confidence in the world. He just can't believe how successful he's been the last few weeks, and look at this. This is a real try here from Jurev Reeling. 35-2-2. This is very close. He's taken one out. He's got him. 34-2-2. Now go and beat that. It's amazing. Chihuahua jump good. I lost the Grand Prix with Splash Dance on two hundredths of a second and now winning by seven hundredths. Uh, so close this part. Super. You know, uh, this Marco Kutscher, it, it's I think it's the best rider in the world. And yeah, him as last, and then it's a stressful moment. But 700 was enough. <laughs> One leg down, 11 to go. Join us next week as we travel to Helsinki for the second leg of the Longines FEI World Cup Jumping Series. Bye bye.